Welcome back. NOAA's Climate Prediction Center released their winter weather outlook. In the big picture, they say climate change is making winter look a lot different. It's not as cold as it used to be, but there are other changes that may not be as clear. National climate reporter Chase Kane shows us three ways the season is changing. Winter brings skiing in the mountains, drinking water for the west, and a welcome break from oppressive heat in the south. But no matter where you live, it doesn't mean the winter is going extinct, but it is different. The first way is that winter is getting shorter and warmer. It's actually the fastest warming season by 3.3 degrees since 1970 across the U.S. From the Great Lakes to New England, it's up to 7 degrees hotter. In Miami, last winter was the second hottest on record, up nearly 9 degrees, which means there's less of a break from summertime heat. Another big one out west is that if temperatures remain warmer longer into the year, and let's say we have precipitation not really kick in in the early winter, that means you could extend the wildfire season out west. That combined with temperatures warming up earlier means that you might see less snowpack. Second, overall snowfall drops, but big snowstorms remain. We're getting a lot more rain during the winter times. A lot of those storms that were marginal and marginally snow are now marginally rain or ice instead of snowfalls. That means fewer snowstorms, but when one does hit, it can dump more snow because a warmer atmosphere holds more moisture, more potential snow. That can amp up lake effect snow in Buffalo, monster mountain storms in California, and powerful nor'easters. And you're getting these more ferocious storms that are coming down into our area as a result of climate change. So it's almost like a feast or famine type of situation. Third, more extreme cold outbreaks. Remember what happened in Texas in 2021? Research suggests that was caused by the rapidly warming Arctic, which can weaken the polar jet stream. When we have one of these very severe cold spells, it's because the jet stream is taking one of these big southward swings, and that allows the Arctic coal to penetrate much farther south than usual. And it's been demonstrated now in several studies that we are seeing these wavy patterns happen more often when the Arctic is very warm. The bottom line is that climate change means we can no longer look to past winters to predict future winters. In New York, I'm National Climate Reporter Chase Kane. Well, Chris, mm -hmm. yeah, there's some discussion about what this winter could look like for our area. Yeah, you got a bunch of variables. For one, we have a very strong El Nino. Could be one of the strongest that we've had in recorded history. But yeah, uh, when you often look at sometimes long range forecasting, you look at the 30 year average. It's better to look at the 10 year average now because the snow totals are far less. But here is what the uh, Climate Prediction Center is calling for this winter. A slightly above average normal temperatures, but above average precipitation. But it just takes one dip of that polar vortex for maybe one big snowstorm. So we shall see. Coming up, though, I'll let you know what you can expect for the next week of fall. We're not winter yet. We don't want to think about that. We'll be right back.